Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, over the last couple of months in the monthlies that I've done, I think I only briefly touched on the fact that Mercury will be in retrograde, but I didn't go through each sign and say what it would be like for every sign. So this is the video for you if you would like to see how Mercury retrograde is going to impact you in relation to your sign. So either your moon sign, your rising sign or your sun sign. And yes, we can look up the sun sign. I know some of you have been asking questions about that, that is it okay to look up the sun? Absolutely. If the sun is important for you, then do look at your chart from a sun perspective. Now, how do you know if sun is important for you? So that's if sun is conjunct several planets, if sun is conjunct Rahu, if sun is conjunct Ketu, uh, if sun is in own house, Leo, you know, if you're a creative person and self-expression is really important to you, then you will want to check things from the point of view of your sun, right? So from the moon, we are looking at how we're going to process things mentally and emotionally and we also look, of course, at the ascendant. That's more so the physical path of our life as it unfolds beneath our feet. So what do we have here with this Mercury retrograde? Well, Mercury is in retrograde through to June the 23rd. We're in it right now. And I wanted to give a couple of very simple and practical examples of how Mercury retrograde can impact us in our daily lives. I was recently chatting with a friend of mine. She might be watching now. Hello, if you're watching. But um, she told me about how in her workplace, she got an email from a coworker. And it turns out that this coworker wasn't able to do the work that was needed. And she had to step in and rewrite all the content. She had to write so much content in a very short space of time. She had to rewrite everything. And for some reason, whatever that other coworker had done was lost or deleted and she had to step in and she had to rewrite everything. So the word re there, rewrite, redo, renegotiate, these are the kind of Mercury retrograde words. You have to go over something again. And that's a really good example. I had another friend who got in touch and she told me that she received a letter from a company that she'd never heard of and it was a financial company that had, I guess had been bought out by other companies. She didn't realize that she had been contributing to some kind of pension scheme or something like that. She gets a letter and she's told, well, there's all this money for you. Now, both of these instances occurred just recently during you know, this recent Mercury retrograde. And they're really good examples of the kind of thing that we can be looking out for because we've got Mercury retrograding in Taurus. And Taurus is, well, it's both those examples that I just gave. So speech is covered. So my friend had to rewrite all the content that their organization was putting out to speak to their people. And then the other friend, she got a letter from a financial institution about money that she had been saving, that generational wealth, you know, she had been saving over a period of time. Somehow she didn't know, she moved jobs. That company got bought out by other companies, etc., etc. But amazingly, she's, she's going to be able to have access to that money now. So that's a very Taurus kind of thing. So Mercury retrograde in Taurus, it will be to do with communication. It will be to do with things like finance. Even I had a letter from my bank saying, you haven't logged on to your account for a while. And they told me that you haven't checked your messages there. And please do that because we don't want to send you paper. And of course I've clicked and nominated that I don't want to receive paper because I want to be green and all that kind of thing. Uh, so, but they had to write me a physical letter telling me to go and have a look. And that arrived at the start of this Mercury retrograde, which I'm pretty sure was 31 May when it started. So isn't that interesting? So that was one thing that happened in my world, and that is to do with banking. The other one that happened with me was that um, over the last couple of weeks, I've been taking my astrology books to 
my local cafe. I've got a bit of an old ritual that has sprung back into my life. So I used to like very much going to my cafe, my local cafe where I was, and I'd take a stack of books and I'd read just solidly. I would just read. And I always find that somehow in a slightly chaotic and noisy environment like a cafe, I can somehow read easily. I don't know why that is, but it's very strange, but I can. And I started doing that again um, over the last couple of weeks. And I realized I think that could be a Mercury retrograde thing as well, because I am reskilling. I'm also rereading old texts. Isn't that interesting? But I'm kind of, you know, trying to skill up or trying to improve my skills or reviewing the things that I know, making sure I really know it, all that kind of thing. So it's already been an amazing Mercury retrograde, hasn't it? With all these examples that have flooded well into my life, these friends of mine who are telling me these um, different things that were happening to them. And I was able to say, well, Mercury retrogrades on. And they were like, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so um, yeah, it, it has been pretty amazing already. Now, Mercury, the planet, is very much to do with communication, logic, all that kind of thing. Mercury is retrograding in Taurus, as I said. Who's the Lord of Taurus? It's Venus. Venus is in Gemini. Okay, So in every respect, this is very much to do with communication this time. Okay, uh, Very much so. And the two are exchanging as well. And this could be a good time for artists to be skilling up as well, if there's some art that you're really passionate about. Like me, I started rereading my old astrology texts again and doing the old ritual of going to the cafe. So anyway, why don't we go all the way through the signs? Uh, and what I'm gonna do is, how are we doing on time? We're okay. I'm gonna put your sign on the screen by my side so that you can see where your sign is, but hopefully, some lovely viewer out there and I have so many lovely viewers who do this. Thank you to those of you who do this. If you could put your timestamp below, uh, you're very welcome to do that. And sometimes I have extra special, super lovely people who will write all of this timestamps for all of the signs. So I would appreciate if someone would do that on this occasion. So I'm just going to fly through the zodiac now. We're going to take a look and we're going to see in which house this is happening for you and what are the likely things that you'll be encountering during this Mercury retrograde. So to start off, we have Aries. Now Aries, this is happening in your second house. So this might be a good time to bring logic or practicality to your family relationships. If there's something practical that you want to sort out or figure out, uh, maybe you need to read redo something, re, you know, go over something in relation to the family. This is a good time. I've got the note here. It also might be a time to review or restructure your finances, your savings, anything to do with generational wealth. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, this is happening in your first house. So for you, this is quite an amazing time. This is a good time for you to review any skills that are essential to your work or that are essential to the foundation of your life. This is quite a foundational time for you, actually, Taurus. So it's a great time to review, reorganize or restructure anything to do with the foundations of your life. Could be career, could be property, relationships. All right, Gemini. Gemini, this is happening for you in your 12th house. So this could be a great time to review your expenses. Good time to check your credit card, make sure that nothing extra or additional is being charged, or maybe you canceled a subscription, but they're still charging it. Those kind of things. This could be a good time to do that sort of activity. Uh, if there is a practical matter to sort out in your love life, this could be a good time to sort that out. Cancer. Cancer, this is happening in your 11th house. So this could be a really good time to review all of your social media. You can delete the things you don't need. Maybe you need to go through your email inboxes, delete what you don't need there. This could just be a good time for a bit of a refresh, a bit of a review of your social media profiles. Uh, could be a good time as well to review how you structure your communications 
and how they're helping you bring in opportunities. Okay, so an example of that is refreshing your CV. This could be a really good time to do that. Or it could be, you know, you're looking at your social media if you run a business, that kind of thing. This could be a good time just to refresh or review that. Leo. Leo, this is happening in your 10th house. Again, we're talking about work for you. We are, aren't we? Uh, good time to review your recent work, your recent projects. Maybe you're going to have to go over something again, as was the case for my friend who she got that email. All of a sudden she had to rewrite all this content. So there could be something like that. It's just something to be mindful of uh, when it comes to your work. I've got the note here. Great time to review your skills refresh or update the skills that you make money from okay so if there are some important skills i mean writing is one of them speaking you know uh, listening these are such important skills i mean perhaps there's something you can do in that area to just improve uh you know some of those fundamental skills that this could be a good time for that virgo Okay, Virgo, this is happening in your ninth house. So this is a great time to reinvigorate your style of leadership. It's also a good time to see yourself as the CEO of your life. I know that's an interesting one. It might sound cheesy, but it is a really good thing to do because you've got to see yourself at the center of your life. You're in charge, you're calling the shots. Advisors like me, we just come and go, you know, but you're at the helm there. So it's a really good thing to do that activity, to see yourself at the center of your life. I've got the note here, see how this mindset feels. Libra. Now, Libra, this is happening in your eighth house. Great time to review your assets, your shared assets. Great time to review your career and your skills as well. So if there are fundamental skills that you use as part of your career, this could be a really good time to brush up or to review things or to add skills or to expand in that way. But ideally review. Yeah, it's an interesting one. It's a bit like me reviewing my astrology texts. Uh, I've got the note here. Are you making sure all your steps are inching you towards your dream career okay this is another thing you can be looking at a great time to get closer to what it is that you really want to do scorpio now scorpio this is happening in your seventh house this is a great time to review the structure of your business uh, or how you communicate with your public it's also a great time to review your business partnerships perhaps if there's something practical you need to communicate or sort out or deal with in your business partnerships <clears throat> this is a very good time to be doing that it's also a great time to sort out simple and practical matters in your marriage so yeah i think something that involves um, logic and practicality communication good time for communication with your partner Perhaps if you, have to, if you have to communicate something again, this is a good time for that. Because sometimes in partnerships, you're having to say the same thing again and again. But you know, maybe this time things will get through and maybe you'll be more considered in your approach. Maybe you'll be a bit more strategic uh, and think a, a bit more about how you can frame things. And ideally frame things in a very practical way. With this Mercury retrograde, you do want to be practical. You want to be kind of real. I've got the note here, what small things can you change that make a really big difference? So that's something to look at. Sagittarius. Now Sagittarius, this is happening in your sixth house. So this is a great time to check out the competition. See what the competition's up to. See what your competitors are doing. Have a look, you know, see. Sometimes that's an activity that we do. We like to see, okay, well, what are other people doing? Um, <clears throat> this could be a good time for that. It's also a good time to review your own skills in line with the competition. How do you measure up, you know, and, and what can you change about yourself? This is also a great time to update any of your career related social media profiles. So if you have a LinkedIn profile, equally if you have a CV, this is a good time to do a refresh. 
this is a good time to do a review and just see what can I change here? What can I update? <clears throat> okay, Capricorn. Capricorn, this is happening in your fifth house. So this is a great time to review any admin to do with, I've got here your children. So if, you're, if you've got children or equally uh, your staff, if you're a business person and you manage people, this is a great time to just go over the admin or maybe there'll be something you have to, you know, redress or, or do again, or there might be something you have to deal with in relation to children or your, your staff, basically. Uh, great time to review your skills regarding your creative self-expression. And I've got this note here as, a, as an example of something small, like you might need to restock on something to do with your creativity. So if you're a painter, I don't know, maybe you're running out of paints or something like that. That was just a small example that I thought of. But this is a time where you can either be reskilling, improving your skills. Maybe you need to stock up on something. Maybe it is something admin related but there might be some small thing that you have to do in relation to these things. And Aquarius, okay, so Aquarius, this is happening in your fourth house. So great time to review how your home is organized. I've said this to you before, be careful of not spending too much on homewares. I know it's very tempting, but be careful. Uh, let's have a look here. <coughs> it's also very important to sort out pending things to do with your home so maybe if there's a leak that needs fixing that you haven't done anything about maybe this is the time where you need to do something about it i can see the camera battery flashing so i better be quick all right pisces pisces this is happening in your third house now this is a good time to review your your social circles and I think we've talked about this before haven't we you know who are your friends who are not your friends these days who I've got the note here who are you not so keen to invest in anymore it's also a great time to review and update all your social media platforms uh, especially the ones where your friends are and of course your CV things like that how you present yourself to the world at large well, guys, this was just a really quick overview on Mercury Retrograde. Let me know in the comments below if you've noticed anything that's happened already. Uh, I'd love to hear your Mercury Retrograde stories if you have any. But as always, I want to thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time.